So uh, this morning, I just want to share with you um, a, a, a small illustration of the grace of God, okay? And um, how God orchestrated Miguel's life, our family, and our lives. So in the book of Isaiah, you can open your Bibles. Can you get your Bibles with you? So Isaiah... There's a passage in chapter 38, verse 19. You guys got it? Isaiah chapter 38, verse 19. And the Bible says, Only the living can praise you as I do today. Each generation tells of your faithfulness to the next. So in this passage... It is a part of a poem that King Hezekiah wrote to give praise and give glory to God because God answered Hezekiah's prayer due of a dying illness. Okay? Hezekiah's prayer brought deliverance and forgiveness and God added to him 15 years more of his life. So this is a prayer that Hezekiah uh, wrote. It's a poem, sorry. So I remember a few times when we almost lost Miguel too. So due to some complications with the um, largest pregnancy, so we would go to the hospital every week, week by week, month after month, and it felt like the hospital was like our second home. So we would always hope and pray to God to grant our provisions to Him and sustain Miguel's life. This is very hard for us in those times. And our God, the Lord Jesus Christ, is full of grace. His mercy, and He always grants blessedness to those who trust in Him. And now, this year, it has been seven joyful years since the first day of spring, and, and also it was Father's Day since when Mimi was born. And now we celebrate it today. And our God, the Lord Jesus Christ, is full of grace and mercy. So, grace is the unmerited favor of God that saves us and gives us the desire and the power to do His will. His love is always right. His love is unconditional. His love is self-sacrificing. And His love is always eternal. So the acronym for grace stands for God reaches at Christ's expense. Can we all say that? The acronym of grace? God reaches at Christ's expense. Easy to remember, right? So the Bible says that for by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves and it is the gift of God. Not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. That's in Ephesians 8. Sorry, sorry, Ephesians 2 to 8 to 9. So the Bible also says that there is only one way to heaven, which is through believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and by repenting from your sins and accepting Him as your personal Lord and Savior. And you will inherit the kingdom of God. So good works cannot save you. Religious cannot save you. Traditions cannot save you. Baptism cannot save you. Church membership cannot save you. Any other mediator cannot save you at all. It's only through the blood of Jesus Christ and no one else. So by having a relationship with Christ, you will enter His rest. And you know what God's rest means? So... Jesus said, Come to me, all who you are weary, and carry the heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burdens I give you is light. So come to him, and do not let this opportunity pass by. Now, if you would like to know more about God's rest, 
and if you want to have a relationship with them, I would like to help you by praying with you. And also, you can ask either Marge or Jam, our daughter, and um, anytime later on today. And thank you for that. So, I just want to close this short message in prayer. If we bow our heads down and have an attitude in prayer, and let's pray, guys. Lord God, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for your goodness in our lives. We thank you that you sent your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to set us free. Free from the slavery of sin and live a life according to your design, O Lord. Lord, I pray that you will awaken those who are called by you and that they find rest only in you alone, Lord God. May they seek and gaze at you, for you are worthy of our praise and honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you as well, Lord, for another year that you have added to Nidhi's life. Thank you, God, for continually blessing him. And may you use his life that you will be glorified, dear Lord. And we lift up to you all the activities and all the things that we're about to do today. And in Jesus' name, all God's people say, Amen. Amen. Thank you.